Hi guys, so today we'll be doing the application server task and in this task, I'm going to um, make it a playlist so it's going to be easy to tackle and um, we can follow it one by one, task after task. Okay, so um, the first task says that um, we need to clone our Airbnb, create our directory, our readme and all that. So we just take it one step at a time. Um, let me um, push this to this side and then um, I'm going to say, let's say, uh, so sorry, I'm going to cd into my system devops. System DevOps, and I'm going to make this directory. I'll make the directory copy. Sorry, uh, make the directory and cd into the directory. Then we could echo this. Sorry, echo this into our readme. Okay, and we are good. So we've done that and we are good to go. So after this, all we need to do is git add this and git commit. And the message is just a readme. And git, why is it not working? Okay, git push. So we we'll push that to our readme and hopefully that should push. So the next thing is we have to do the rest on our web server. I'm waiting for this to push so we can migrate to our web. I hope my access token hasn't expired yet. So um, for this one, you need to ensure that, um, okay, there's a connection issue. I think our Wi-Fi is disconnected or also let me see good push so it's not pushing so definitely will not be able to ssh if it is not pushing okay i think it has pushed enough so good so we then um ssh into our web own uh, you can do your um, Ubuntu at and um, your SSH Ubuntu at your IP address. I've already configured my IP address to the web home and I've mapped them so I can easily do that. Um, SSH web home. So now I will need to, um, besides, let's serve what you built on airbnb version 2 web framework so we want to import what we did in web framework this task is an exercise in setting up your development environment which is used for testing and debugging your build, your code before deploying it to production so this one is for testing and before we deployed it with flask so uh make sure you've done the task study of the ssh project so you can check that out that's just uh, you putting the ALX public key, copy the public key that you have in this tax and put it in um, the .ssh, like this folder, cats um, .ssh, uh, I think that should be authorized keys. So you put it inside this file, you put the public key into a new line. So I think this is the ALX, the ALX one is somewhere around here this one yes so you copy it and put it there so alex can check it for you and what else mm, so the next thing is let us install net tools on our web one so usually you'll be doing this on your web one so you copy this and install it yeah so we run this on our web one So after that, um, git clone your Airbnb version 2. So we are on your web one. So once this one is done, we are going to git clone our Airbnb version 2. So majorly, you might not have a, probably you didn't do the task. Um, you can just follow along to 
my cloning but i'm going to do so and you can use that so let's just wait for that to install so after that um we need to configure the there's a there's a file inside that airbnb version 2 that we're going to clone in web flask so um we we have to configure it so that to serve its content from route um from this route so we have to configure it that it should serve its content through this route on port 5000 and the flux object should be called up so i think that's all so let's just wait for this to install so i think this one has installed so we'll then do um git clone sorry uh back to this and then git clone and then um https dot slash slash git up so i'm going to put this code down so you guys can use it to git clone um or i'm going to push this code to uh github as well so you can see them and use them so github.com slash um alexa slash so we want to clone the air b and b underscore clone underscore version two so this is what we want to clone and then hit on enter so we are trying to clone the airbnb version 2 uh, i think we're done so if i do ls we have the airbnb version 2 so i'll cd into airbnb version 2 i'll clean this ls and then we'll go into the web flask so which is this one so I'll cd into web flask web flask and then what else ls so zero routes so that's what we want to check zero routes the py i'm going to copy these parts or the routes so we have our app as an instance already of our class flask and then um the route is just slash so i will change this slash to to this yes i think we're done with that and then it's going to return hello airbnb uh, as you can see when it's being called it returns hello airbnb and there's no new line so fine so that's why we're not using print or something and what else so we should run on port 5000 and as you can see it's running up that run on port 5000 okay so I think we're good with this and we need to test it so i think one of the major issue we're going to have is that our port 5000 might be used by um a program so we'll just do sudo i think it should be lsof dash i and 5000 so we we'll check so there's an agent i think this is our dog agent is using the um port 5000 to to is listening at port 5000 so we have to kill it so I'll say sudo i think that should be pq i don't know if it's pq or just normal q so we use that first and we use pid the pid is 224 so this pid might be different for yours uh 224630 and then um let me see so let me try and see again if this Okay, I think it didn't kill it. We still have it. So let me just use normal kill. Sorry. So sudo so kill. So let us check again. Okay, so it should be sudo kill, not pq. So um, we'll kill the process. And then um, I checked it again and I saw that it's not um, using it anymore. So um, I could also just add to my um, if i do my um sudo ufw status i'll be able to see all the ports that are used um 
that I enabled on my server so I could enable the port 5000 as well um, just for easy um, access or something so I'll say sudo ufw allow 5000 and I think that's added so if I checked my status again you see I have my port 5000 both version 6 and normal version 4 um, IP um, and I think that is that so we just need to test our code now and to test our code let us just run this one sorry zero yep. so this one is probably running uh, let me open another term. Okay, sorry. We didn't install Flash. We're supposed to install Flash as well. So Flash has not been installed. Um, so if I just do sudo pip install Flash, I'm not sure if pip. I think we have to install pip as well. Um, yes, pip3 not found. So uh, sudo pip. I'm supposed to even say pip install pip3 install flask so it's going to give me it's supposed to give me command to install pip that's what I was looking for okay hello sudo apps get pip3 I don't know if this is the command to install pip3 uh pip uh apps get install pip did it uh was i'm looking for the command uh is it install but let's just quickly use ChatGPT to probably get the command. Um, I don't know why it's not bringing it. Um, install Flask. Okay, sudo apps install Python 3 pi So this is sudo apps install python 3-pip so um, I'm supposed to even do dash y anyway so um, it's installing um, back to our project while that is loading let me open another server and ssh into my web own so that I can be able to make my call here and see if it's successful here uh, So PIP is still installing and this one is already on our web server. So we need PIP in order to install Flux. I would have just tried and install Flux over here. So anyway, so that is running. And what else? Let's have what you put on. Okay, I think that's all. That's all. We just need to test it. Uh, this one is just saying run it as a script, the dash M, and they're running the file with Python 3. So we've already added this one to the shebang and then the script is below so we just need to run the script so that's it <sighs> so waiting for this to complete Okay, I think we're done now. And uh, let us just run the scripts. Oh, sorry, we still need to install Flux anyway. So I will say um, pip sudo pip3 install 
flask. Let's see. Okay, so installing flask. I think that's fine. And then let's try this now. So it's working now, and let me come back here and call accordingly. So call this and the route that we created. So and then I will do this, and we got LOABRB, and then this is a um, get requests on these ports and two hundred. So I think that's it. So if we try. Uh, on this place, what's the value of this guy? Let me just add W here. So we, we got not found, definitely. So um, let me see if without this, this we still get without the extra slash, so it still works anyway. So um, basically, I think that's it. And we just need to check our code and see if we are correct. So uh, okay so we're good and that's it for that so we'll move to the next one see you in the next one guys